like <laughs> How many souls would be saved today if it all depended on what I had to say? How many prayers would my Lord have to answer if all that he heard came from me? I wonder what kind of church would my church be if every member was just like me. So that's our call. If you were like me. If you were like me. I used to hear the late Reverend Allen in giving the benediction use that that if every member was like me, then what kind of church would my church be? Brothers and sisters, this is a question that each one should ask of himself or herself and not look to ask of others. But this is a personal question. This is an individual question. This is a question that only you can answer for you. What kind of church would my church be if every member was just like me. Don't look at no one else, but rather look at yourself. Matthew 5 and 16. Matthew 5 and 16 says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Brothers and sisters, in every, if you were like me, what kind of church would my church be? If every member was just like me, how many souls? How many souls would be saved today? If it all depended on what I had to say, if I had to go out and ask of someone else and share the word with somebody else, are we sharing the word with others? Just simply saying to them, Oh well, you're lost, but my brothers and sisters, for those that are lost, all of us have an obligation to share the word with the lost. All of us have an obligation to what? Go out and to the hedges and highways and tell others about Christ. We all have an obligation to go out and share the word. This morning we're going to say in the Bible, and I encourage you to open the Bibles with me to Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 11. Proverbs 20 and 11. Time remaining. Proverbs 20 and 11. We got to be tranquil. We got to. By the renewing of our mind. Proverbs 20 and 11, that if everybody, what kind of church would my church be if every member was just like me? How many prayers would my Lord have to answer if all that he heard came from me? I wonder what kind of church, you're going to hear me keep saying this over and over again, would my church be if every member was just like me? Proverbs 20 and 11 says, even a child. I'm reading from the English Standard Version that even a child makes himself known by his act, by whether his conduct is pure and upright. So, we have it that even a child is known by his act, by whether his conduct again is pure and upright. We have to always be mindful to do what? Do the right thing and listen and obey those who are in authority. Yes, sir. You see, we have to start our children off on the way they should go. Yes. Proverbs 22 and 6. Look at Proverbs 22 and 6. Proverbs 22 and 6. What does it say? Train them up. Start our children off on the way. If you want them to be in the right way, guess what? You have to start them on the right way. And even when they're old, the scripture says what? When they're old, they will not turn from it. They will not depart from it. So it is incumbent upon us to do what? Teach them. My brothers and sisters, everybody has an obligation. If there is, if Hillary Clinton or 
turned my sister over that wagon. <laughs> and she saw me and put me in there and got another one later. Hmm. See, we have to be mindful that we start them off again on the right way that when they're young to try and train them and let them know the way that they should go. Yes, it is important to train them. They want to be trained even at a young age so they do what? Because many of parents have been made shame by the acts of their kids when they go out publicly. We have to do what? Train them. Let's do a train her. We have to start again with the young to train them in the right way in which they should go. And children have an obligation to listen to those that are older. I know many times folks feel that can't nobody say anything to me. Can't nobody encourage me to do what is right and what is proper. But guess what? Everybody has an obligation if somebody's traveling wrong to try to point them in the right direction. Yes, sir. Because guess